a stunned silence as the grief sets in for the dozens of injured. Victim after victim rushed to hospital in Peshawar, in Pakistan's northwest. As the search for survivors became more frantic, nearly 60 worshippers dead with the toll expected to rise. The suspected suicide attack was timed to hit a packed Shia mosque, shattering the tranquility of afternoon prayers, ripping through a wall and bringing down parts of the roof. We were preparing for prayer, this man says. We were on the stairs when the blast hit inside. He and others rushed to rescue the wounded, leaving many behind already dead, trapped under the rubble. We took out seven injured worshippers, this social worker says, but two died on the way to the hospital. Most of the victims were officers, hundreds working inside a highly secure compound that was somehow compromised. Within hours, Pakistan's prime minister met with survivors of the blast, calling the scale of the tragedy unimaginable. An attack on Pakistan, Shabazz Sharif called it. Terrorism is our foremost national security challenge, he wrote on Twitter. An increasingly unwieldy challenge. Peshawar, tucked near the border with Afghanistan, has seen its share of militant attacks, and even more so recently. There's been a surge after a ceasefire between the Pakistani Taliban and government forces crumbled. A security situation that's rapidly deteriorating, leaving those in mourning also searching for answers as they bury their dead. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Mumbai.